What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Fantasy Foot Player SBC card to review and it is going to be Caligari. I think that is how you pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm very sorry. But he is looking like a very nice all-rounded card. He's got 90 pace with 89 dribbling, 86 shooting, 83 defending, 90 passing with the 87 physicals as well. He's a 6 foot player with medium high work rates, 4 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. The 4 star 4 star, we cannot complain about that. The medium high work rates in a CDM position is literally perfect. I kind of would have liked this card though to have like a high high work rate. That would have been so perfect because you guys can clearly tell by looking at the stats. He is a player that's going to be able to go forward. So yeah, the high high work rates would have been better, but medium high isn't bad at all. And the fact that he is six foot, that tells me that reach is actually going to be pretty good when going in for like tackles and obviously interceptions as well. Now the chem style I've decided to go for is the anger chem style. You could go for a shadow if you really want to it's just i feel like you don't need the extra pace yes it will be nice but you don't really need it i feel like the main goal here is, is to boost up the aggression as much as possible while trying to boost up that strength as well while still giving him an extra uh, extra pace boost let's say so yeah the anchor chem style is doing exactly that you're going to give him 96 acceleration and 95 sprint speed which is more than enough in that midfield the shooting ability not looking bad at all. You get this guy inside the box. You best believe we're giving you were gonna give it a go. And if we even get him on like the 18 yard on the edge of the 18 yard box, we'll also give it a go because he's got 86 long shots with 88 shot power. Now, has he got any shooting traits? No. Unfortunately, he does not. It is what it is. The passing ability. The short passing looks good the long passing on the other hand being at 84 isn't bad but i would have maybe liked it a little bit higher maybe like 87 long passing or even 88 long passing would have been nicer to see but the 84 long passing with the 87 vision shouldn't be bad at all he shouldn't really struggle to go for the over top through balls it's just it definitely isn't going to be as consistent as someone like kdb let's say now he's dribbling ability for a six foot player we can't complain with those dribbling stats 88 agility with 80 balance 91 reactions 89 ball control 89 dribbling with the 88 composure i'm expecting him to feel good on the ball now the defending stats with the anchor chem style applied is looking solid 89 interceptions 79 heading accuracy 88 defensive awareness 95 standing tackling with the 89 slide tackling as well i mean defensive stats is there it definitely is there and if we're looking at the physicals he's got 98 jumping with 94 stamina 96 strength with the 87 aggression as well the physicals are also looking really really solid now the links this is where you know it goes downhill let's say because the club he plays for it isn't good for links straight up it just straight up isn't good for links in this game and the fact that he's italian and comes from the bundesliga is a little bit awkward let's say as you guys clearly can see like i've got damian get getting a weak link with him but i've also got two icons around him just to get him on full chemistry so yeah the links aren't anything amazing the fact that he's got that italian nationality though does save him a little bit now when it comes down to positions i am going to be playing caligari in two positions i'm going to be playing him in that center position and that CDM position. I feel like that's the two go-to positions, let's say, that everyone is going to be playing uh, this man in. I feel like those two positions are so perfect because he can obviously do defensive work while also giving you an attacking uh, option as well, let's say. So yeah, centre mid, CDM. The formations I will be using is the 4-4-2 and the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. So yeah, let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is going to be. Tell me that maybe. There you go. And I'm going to try to use his pace here just to go down the line. And he uses that pace really well. Against who? Konate. Keep it going as well. Ball roll to get in front of the player. Shot cancel the keeper maybe. Oh my god. He didn't get shot cancelled. I tried to shot cancel the keeper to put him onto the ground. It wasn't happening. But he still slotted it towards a near post. Give that into the middle there. There you go. Go for a few touches forward. We're going to go for this because I see it's wide open all the way on the other side. And it's a very, very good pass. Can I pass this into the inside? I can. Rivaldo, are you going to finish it? Obviously, you are, man. First time over. Caligari, nice shielding ability. Good use of strength there. Is he going to continue running? He is. We're going to pass it into the inside. Good touch, but Puyol is going to put in a very, very solid tackle. I do like how we use the strength there in that midfield just to hold off that player. I'm going to push out slightly here just to see how fast he could get out to him. And look at the transition speed, even though... It went under his legs there, and that was very unfortunate. You guys could clearly see his transition speed didn't feel bad at all. You guys could see how fast it actually was going left and right there. I'm going to push out here. There you go. That's a perfect time to push out, and we do put in a very good tackle as well. 
let's go for one of these over top three balls again. Yeah, that's what I mean. That right there is what I mean about his passing, right? Like, you guys saw the other pass. That pass was perfect. That pass right there, though, hmm. Yeah, it was questionable. You can actually see him inside the box. He's going up. He wants to be that person that apparently gets inside that box and scores some goals, and he ends up missing that kind of opportunity. He's finishing is what? It's 85 finishing with 88 shot power. I'm not expecting him to finish every single opportunity, but I feel like that was a good opportunity to score a goal. Just going to pass it across and then driven it first time through the middle. We do well to actually get onto that. Nice turn as well. Ball roll. Burbison cancel. He doesn't feel bad on the ball. Like, I'm just trying to test out his left stick dribbling right there. And he definitely doesn't feel bad on the ball. But he doesn't feel smooth on the ball either. And I've been using uh, I've been using Saint Maximum literally the whole morning and the whole afternoon. So, like, going from Saint Maximum to Caligari. Yeah, you're, no you're going to notice a difference. <laughs> just going to pass it line here. Then straight into the middle. Nice little fake shot. Good turn as well. Could have gone for a long shot there. But I didn't really trust in it. But I think we're going to do it at the end, right? Nice turns again. He's using that strength a lot. And that's not even me like holding L trigger in most occasions there. I did hold it right at the end, but in most cases, he was actually just uh, using his strength automatically. Can I power this towards a near post? I mean, it's a good shot and it ends up hitting the post, unfortunately. I'm going to push out here, see how fast I can get out to the player. And he gets out to him really nicely. And look at him. Continue making that run as well. Good touch through the gap. We green time it and to Stegen ends up saving it. I'm impressed how we continued making that run. I'm just going to second man press this, then cover the cut back. And he actually gets himself into a really nice animation. Well, I don't really see that animation too often in FIFA 22. It's like quite rare to actually see it, but he did well to put in a good tackle. Is he going to continue going towards us? He is, but I'm going to give it back. We'll roll that. Oh, yeah, this is a good opportunity. Green timed as well, and it actually goes in. That, I'm, I'll be honest to you guys, that long shot looked so off. That went so high, but it looked like it dipped really quickly right at the end and curved a crazy, crazy amount. I was not expecting that to go in. That's a good pass. Extra pass up. There you go. We got plenty of space to run into now. Mbappe, you're going to give me a good option? Not really, but look at the way my opponent is defending. He's not tr hes not even bothering trying to mark him. He's covering Mbappe. He's covering all the other attackers apart from Caligari. And he actually slots it top bins as well. Good R1 dribbling. Couldn't get that fake shot off fast enough. You see what I mean about his dribbling? Like his left stick dribbling for a midfielder is very nice to work with. It's just it isn't anything insane. You can't compare... He's a like left stick dribbling, I would say, to someone like Firmino or even like a Lucas Paqueta. Yeah, Rivaldo's wide open. I might as well give it to him, see if I can actually end up scoring this one. It's a decent finisher from Rivaldo, but it obviously didn't go in. I believe he comes up for corners, right? He does. He's on the edge of the box. And we're going to try to... Ah, he's brought out the keeper. Yeah, we'll still go near post. I mean, what? He's six foot with 98 jumping. We might as well give it a go. And yeah, those kind of crosses... Yeah, definitely ain't going to test out his jumping ability. Let's give it a go again. Let's let's ignore that, right? Act like nothing happened. So first time we're giving this a go. <laughs> it's decent. Go on. No, to Stegen. Are you? How? No, no. All right, this is the first time we're giving this one a go. <laughs> we're going to keep doing this until we score. Please, go on. There you go. Oh, first try. On our first try, we actually score a goal like that. I mean, he kept bringing out the keeper in a terrible, terrible area. No turn. Don't allow that turn. Well played, man. Very solid tackle. Possession-based tackle as well. I might go for a long shot. There's so many players inside the guy's box right now. Accelerate. Well played. We'll roll that. Get a decent angle to go for a green time finesse shot. Look at the animation. What was that animation? No, I, I, I just want to talk about it for a second. Like, what was that? He w I don't think we even took a uh, a moving touch, let's say. I'm pretty sure that ball was just stood there, just still. And he actually hit it perfect into the top corner. And yeah, I would rage quit as well. Yeah, he's wide open all the way to the top and he is making a run. We give it a go on that four-star weak foot and it's a very good pass, man. There's only been like one or two passes like that that has actually screwed up with him. See if I can give it this for Rivaldo. Look at the run he's making. You see that run for a player that's got... Can we get a finish as well? Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> Poor player that's got medium high work rate. You don't really expect him to make that run. You usually expect him to just stay back. He wants that into the middle. There you go. Get out to him. 
Oh my god, go on, keep it going. Against Janola as well, and he doesn't have... I feel like it's the aggression there that let him down. Like, he's got, definitely got the strength to push off Janola. It's just the aggression is what didn't really make him fight for it as much as I wanted him to. Well, he did do actually uh, pretty well to put up a fight there with Janola. In the middle there, come on, put up a good fight against Laborde. And he does put up a very good fight. Full roll that, keep it simple, and just pass over to Mbappe. Maybe him with a roulette? Can I accelerate? Keep it going? You know what? Why not? Go on. Go on. What? what? 86 long shots? No. I don't believe it, man. I do not believe it one bit. No shot. You guys have seen the long shots we have scored today. There's no way we're just getting lucky, right? There is no way we're just getting lucky. What is that for a finish? That's a good pass to Ginola. He's going to go back up, though. We read that. Use your strength now to hold off Ginola. Look at that strength coming into play. It allows us to calm down the play there and just take our time. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing three games of Caligari. We scored six goals in those three games. Six goals. I was not expecting to score that many. I'll be honest, you guys. And you saw some of the angles we were shooting at as well. Finesse shots at a tough angle. Power shots outside the box at a tough angle. They were all flying in today, man. And even shots inside the box on that stronger foot was really, really good. The four-star weak foot, though, hmm. Questionable in some occasions. There were some shots on that four-star weak foot I was not happy about. But yeah, the strong foot, the stronger foot shots, very, very solid. Passing ability, we didn't get a single assist. I'm kind of disappointed in that. The reason I say that is because his passing was actually really good, and there were some beautiful passes he did today. It's just you can definitely also notice the 80 it is 84 long passing. Like you can definitely notice that. Sometimes the ball is literally perfect, and then there's other times it goes a little bit too short and it allows the defender to be close to me when I receive the ball and then they just put in a very solid tackle so yeah you can definitely notice it is 84 long passing but all round the passing is very solid pace transition speed amazing getting out the players was not a joke with this guy right here man he can really really get out to my opponents the dribbling ability didn't feel bad on the ball at all as expected when you're looking at those dribbling stats you expect him to feel solid on the ball right it's just there was some in some situations that I was in that you can notice the 80 balance come into play where he did like a slight falling over animation and the ball went a little bit too far away from his body. Next thing you know, the play, the, my opponent just went in and just got the ball, let's say. So yeah, the dribbling ability is nice for a midfielder, but I definitely would say it isn't anything insane. It's not a, like a, a Firmino kind of level. It isn't like a, who else could I maybe compare him to? Let me bring up my tier list real quick. It isn't, obviously, it isn't like a Pedri kind of level either. It isn't a Jorginho kind of level. And I definitely wouldn't put it up there with even like KDB kind of level either. But yeah, it's still very nice for a midfielder. Defending. He put in some very good tackles. Some very, very good tackles. His defensive awareness as well was actually really solid. Because of his uh, high defensive work rate, he is tracking players a lot. He's cutting passing lanes. He's man marking. He's doing it all on defense, let's say. The interceptions was very good. It's just I did notice some situations where the ball was going under his legs, unfortunately. And the physicals. I'm telling you guys right now, the only thing I'm disappointed in with the physicals is uh, the aggression. The strength was really good. Shielding off the players was not an issue with him. The aggression, though... It didn't feel like 87, I'll be honest to you guys. It felt like more 83, 84. It really didn't feel like 87. He wasn't like a person that really, really wanted to fight for it. And it definitely was annoying to see time to time. Now, this card is going for <laughs> going for 50k. 50,000 coins for this card is an absolute bargain. I understand the links aren't anything crazy, right? It's just, it's a must-do SBC. You have to keep in mind, I feel like this card is guaranteed to get at least a plus one upgrade surely right a plus one upgrade going up to 90 overall 90 overalls are going for around 51k right now 51k 51k to 53k 51k is ericsson obviously he's the cheapest one right now so yeah i feel like this is a must do sbc you're getting a fantastic player for an unreal price now where would he go in the midfielders tier list he isn't an S tier. I'll say that right now. He isn't Firmino. He isn't Lucas Paqueta kind of level, right? He isn't Bellingham kind of level. He isn't N'Golo Kante, Team of the Year, Team of the Year, Shishinho, or even Team of the Year, KDB kind of level. But I'll tell you guys right now, he is a comfortable A plus card. I feel like this card has the potential to go up into the S tier if the long passing goes up 
and if the aggression goes up as well. That's the only two things that I really didn't enjoy. Not didn't enjoy, it's just I didn't think there were anything amazing, let's say. The aggression, it felt like 83, 84, and the long passing, you can tell it is 84 because it isn't like consistent with those overtop through balls all the way onto the other side. But yeah, an A plus for uh, Caligari. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.